You think fine art doesn't relate to tattoo artistry? You don't think as much thought goes into a piece of art you're going to be wearing for the rest of your life? Nope, nope, nope. I've seen what idiots have tattooed on themselves. Someone wants tattooed on their wrist. Music expresses unspoken words. That's going to be on you for the rest of your life. Your, your kids will ask you, hey mom, what's that written on your wrist? You're going to say, look, okay, when I was a teenager, I was a bit of a twat. Can we drop this? Anyway, moving on. Generally speaking, no. Unless there's some unusually high class tattoo parlor I've yet to hear about. Sigh. Scoff all you want, but I'm telling you, they're not so different. The way I see it, your skin is your God-given canvas, and you've only got the one. No repaints, no do-overs, nothing. So, if you're going to get it painted, you'd better make damn sure that your artist has skills, knows the techniques, you get me? No, 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 I do, I do not get you. But hey, I guess you kids probably aren't old enough for tattoos anyway. 15, 16, was it? 17, you? Oh god, I don't really know if tattoos are all that related to the course work, there's no reason. <laughs> They're not in any way, it's bullshit. This one. It'd be pretty hard to do a critical study on a tattoo artist. Anyway, are there even any well-known ones? And besides, we have to create our own version of the work we're studying. Mm, well, if you need a reference, you've got a I've got a perfectly good tattoo you could study right up close. I'd hate to think where this is. I might not have this job if I show it to you, though. Oh, God. That, that... I hope he just thought that and I read his mind and he didn't actually whisper that. I'll have that textbook when you're done with it, Bere. Huh? He may joke about it, but Beck seems pretty passionate when it comes to tattoos. No, no, we can see it. We're just not sure it's entirely necessary. Right, we'll go to the club. Get that charm up. Is there going to be a scene? You bet your ass there's going to be a scene. Please don't let it be out of school. Yeah, proper scene, bitch. Let me ask you a question, team. Oh, what kind of people would you like to join the club? Um, if you could take your pick, I mean. Well, kind people, genuine people. Oh, wow, she's not that actually picky. What kind of? Uh, well, anybody, I suppose. This club is open to all students, after all. Though, I suppose I might prefer some sixth form students over the younger children. I'm afraid I would not handle those so well. Wow. We've gotten to the age where we can look down and scoff at little children. Ha ha ha. Fair enough, I guess. Well, I'll give you as much of a member of this club as I am. Would you have any preferences as to respective members? I think we should try to get some guys to sign up. I think the club could do with a few more girls. I'm thinking if we get shopping in, we'll be on the road to gloriness. So let's go, guys. I don't know. I think this could club could do with a little bit of male influence, you know, balance the things out a bit. <laughs> yeah, really? Sure, I mean, I know a few guys who might be up for it, at least every once in a while. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Ah. Uh, yes, it certainly is, though I'm afraid I will be little help in that regard. I'm not especially familiar with any of the male students here. I gotta admit, you seem more like a girly girl. I can't really imagine you hanging out with loads of guys. Yeah. I second that notion. Really? Back in Denmark, many of my friends were male. Anton and Ulrich and Oscar. Well, all really generic names for Scandinavian. I'm sure you would have liked them. They're exceptionally sweet, kind boys. Sounds like you had a really great back time home. A really time back home. Whatever. No one cares about her anyway. Does she, has she already mentioned she's Danish? Because I think I've missed that one completely. I've clearly missed it. Hmm, but I am having a very nice time here too. Especially now that we are friends, Ogu. And I return home once yearly during the summer, so I often have the chance to see my old friends again. And be reminded what you've lost as soon as you get back there. I'm on the verge of tears here, Patim. Why? Why? That's not a problem. That's... <laughs> oh, whatever. Don't worry, Patim. I'll sort something out. Pretty soon, there'll be more lads in here than you'll know what to do with. I'm not sure I want that. Guys and a girl in a secluded room where anything could happen. Hmm. Nah, yeah, definitely not. Thank you, Ogo. I look forward to it. Well, you're going to have to take some really good looking after it. Apparently, if you keep your stats over 80, you get complimented on them. I, th I, I think that's what Sora said. 
<laughs> then again, I'm not entirely sure he's played this game. So for all I know, he might be speaking out of his ass. I can't quite remember what we're going to do. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. Fashion, fashion, fashion. A black t-shirt. We haven't got a black t-shirt. Um, what? Ah, uh, it's February the 7th. Damn it. All right, what we're going to do... See, going here was pointless. What we needed to go is go into our diary and see how far along we are with shopping. Hopefully, quite a long way. I need to. Bollocks. All right, we clearly haven't done something right. I assume we need to get into a club. And, uh, grind ourselves that way. God. All right, let's go to the shop and buy a black t-shirt. I honestly can't remember where it has I haven't gone to yet. Oh, fuck. Why didn't I save it before? So I could go back in case I picked the wrong one. See, I'm thinking it's going to be here. I look, there's even a t-shirt there. Oh, fuck it. We'll go here. If there's not a black t-shirt, we're rebelling. Come on. Be a black t-shirt. That's not quite what I was looking for. Oh, damn it! For fuck's sake! You see what I mean? This place is like t-shirts everywhere. Do you see one now? No! They're all polo shirts and belly tops and track suits. Oh, Damn it, I've only got myself to blame. Eh, those look quite nice. Raises fitness, a sweatband. I'm not sure that's how that works. Alright. We're fucked. We'll save it the next time we go. I constantly forget. <sighs> One day we'll remember. It's just probably not going to be anytime soon. Right, let's try and get charm over 100. Chill with our homies and such. Gonna hang out, chill with our homies. Oh yeah, I forgot about the job for a second there. And a scene at the bakery? Yeah. And that's £2.25 change. Thank you. Oh my god. Listen to that noise. It's actually full. Ah, oh, I expected that. <sighs> Working hard, shopping? I wonder why it's so busy today. Eh, I guess Operation Waitress worked out pretty well after all. There are far more men in here now, as creepy as that is. Although... What is this, Shuffin? Don't tell me you've been ogling the waitresses, too. What is it? Well, these guys eat a whole lot more than the old customers used to. Guys can't ogle on an empty school stomach like schoolgirls can, I guess. We're actually kind of running out of some things. Holy shit. Well, you better put your back in and work harder. Oh, um, is there anything I could do? I mean, I could go out and get more, though. I don't really know where. Go out and get more. You're a bakery! You don't go out and buy more bread and then sell it as your own. You bake your own, you lazy bastards. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. I'm sure that's normal. Really, that'd be a great help, Ogu. Actually, when our stock gets low, we pretty much just buy the cheapest stuff we can for the supermarket down the road. It's best not to go in uniform. Oh, what a lovely privileges company this is. We don't really need much. Just five green peppers, four packets of pastrami, a tub of almond coleslaw, two cloves of garlic, six baguettes, two cartons of grapefruit juice. Oh, and some ham, like two packs. Fuck's sake, I'm going to have to remember all of this, aren't I? Right, hang on, let's go write it down, because sod remembering that. Right, that's all of it written down. Some of you call this cheating, I call taking advantage of my superior brain. Right, oh, that all, huh? Sorry, did you get all that? No, nope, I'm amazing. I got it all in my memory. And by that, I mean a, a notepad, which might be hidden off screen. <coughs> <coughs> right. <laughs> I'll probably fucking spell something wrong in that, but whatever. Thanks, Ogu, you're a lifesaver. I, I'll stagger back in a bit. Stagger back in a bit. Right, come on. Please tell me I haven't written that down in a fucking vein. All right, whatever. I'm sure this isn't part of my job description. Nobody'd better be see me in here. I best get to move on to. Shop is probably swamped in there by now. Okay, first up, green peppers. Yeah! Five green peppers. Five peppers. Yeah. Fucking hell. Alright, that worried me for a second. Seems a little low. Maybe they're not that popular. Don't tempt me with shit like that. I know it's right. Next up, some kind of meat, wasn't it? Pastrami. Yes! I don't even know what this stuff is. Smells good, though. It, it's not good. Okay, and next it was something coleslaw. Almond coleslaw. That sounds disgusting. I've only just realised that now. Almond coleslaw. That sounds absolutely revolting. Alright, whatever. 
Almonds and sandwiches. Who am I to judge, I guess? And then... Did he say something about clover? Clover. Two cloves of garlic. Not clover. Fucking hell, not clover. Cloves of garlic. Two of them. Running out of time, what were the few last things? Six baguettes, two grapefruit juice, and two packets of ham. Boosh! Oh, Tenarium gets them all right! Yeah! Phew, the checkouts had better not be crowded. I'm on a mission. Shopping had better appreciate this. But I guess it is kind of my job. Heh! <laughs> yeah, it is. It is your job. You're getting paid to do this. Phew! Uh, it's all there, right? Yeah! That's everything. Thanks a lot, Logu. You really saved us. I'm sorry I had to ask you to do that. Nah. Anytime. That's what I'm here for, after all. That's not what I'm here for. It's my job. <laughs> he looks so grateful and surprised. I don't know whether I should be happy or insulted. Insulted? Your IQ is 222. He should expect that. Oh, dear. What a dick. Right. And now we get to go to the club. Yeah. Now, we should be able to speak to them boys. Oh. 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 Wow, Beck, when you said you wanted to meet your kids, I figured they'd be much younger. Some of these guys look older than me. Huh? It seems like there are new faces in here every day. Who knew art class was so popular? Well, there's always enough bohemian pricks to go around. Huh, you really thought I'd have a bunch of little kids designing your tattoo? I mean, we could always pop down to lower school if you want, but I figured you were after something a little classier. Oh no, I ain't complaining. I'd have come sooner if I'd known. These guys are utter sick, right? Because I'd ruin that redhead over there. You know what? This place, when I originally looked at it, did say it's outside of Wales. With an attitude like that, it just has to be Liverpool. Only place in the world which would try something like that. Hey, hey, I don't want you doing anything that'll get me fired, okay? Why don't you go over there and sharpen some pencils for me or something? <laughs> Spoil sport. She clearly fancies him, otherwise she wouldn't fucking be here. Hey, Carrot Top, mind showing me where you keep the supplies? Carrot Top. Sigh. What are we doing today anyway, Beck? You said something about designing a tattoo? Hey, Ogu, perfect timing. You're always up for a little challenge, right? No. I guess so. <laughs> eh, that'll do. I was thinking about that talk we had a while back. You guys learning everything from textbooks and the like, and I got to thinking. How about I get you guys a little practical artistic experience? I mean, what better way to learn, right? Uh, there, there, there are better ways to learn. You know, I think I'm just going to stick with my book. No, not going to let me? No, I didn't think so. So, I was talking to my friend, uh, <laughs> our friend Mercedes here. I'm sure she's a friend. And she was thinking about getting a tattoo done. I'd usually design it myself, but I figure why not let you guys get a crack at it? Show you how much thought goes into this sort of thing. And hey, take some of the work off me if you know what I mean. Wait, he's being paid for this? Bastard. Oh, wow. You sure you're okay with that? I mean, I don't want to scar her forever or anything. <laughs> well, this is more practice for anything. I'm not going to tattoo her right here or anything. Just relax, get the creative juices flowing, and you keep your hands off me, Beck. Uh, think of it as a piece of coursework. Only, you know, not as dull. And hey, you never know, you might end up with a taste for this sort of thing. It's kind of a rush, you know, designing something and have, it something, have someone wear it around for the rest of their life. Nothing quite like that. <sighs> oh my god. Huh? Sounds like you do this sort of thing a lot. Hmm, well, I'd be doing it a whole lot more since once I graduate. But yeah, you could say that. I really don't like Beck. He's definitely my smiting list. And hey, once you come of age, I'm hoping I'll see one of you guys in my tattoo parlour. If I make it that far. You know, you never did tell me how old you are. The way you're looking at me, I'm afraid to. Yep, yep, I'm 12. <laughs> Please don't touch me. Okay, I, I think I'm done. I'm not sure if this is the kind of thing she'd want, though. Hey, like I said, there's no pressure and hey, no one really designs anything decent the first, uh... Hmm. Uh... Is it really that bad? I guess butterflies are a little cliche. I could always try something else. Oh, well, it was so bad that even the tattoo artist went, Hey, it can't be that bad. Oh. Oh. That's usually quite bad. I just thought, you know, maybe it'll look okay as an ankle tattoo or something. Uh, well, it's not that. Let me guess, he's already got it? You know, this is actually really decent, Ogu. Great, even. I mean, you'd have to work on it a little, sure, but... 
skilled. I'm really impressed. You've never really done this before? Uh, nope. I was just going with whatever's fashionable. Really, but I guess it's paid off. Beck, are we done yet? This whole teaching thing is quaint and all, but I've got a shoot to get to. And the boys are in the class. They're all such prudes. Oh, God. Could you stop harassing my students for five minutes and get over it? They're clearly not dating if the only thing he is thinking of is... Hey, could you... Wait, no. It's not like that at all because she's trying to shag them. Brain, what do you like?